<laughs> I thought you found me infuriating. <laughs> no, no, the character. It's just a character. Oh. It's not you in real life, is it? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> nice Maybe tie, it is you. Way. Thank you very That's much. Really I'm wearing a tie now. Do you, you like it? Well, yeah. They have them. Yeah, they have them at Costco <laughs> now. So, I'm, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> so I stocked up over the weekend. Like a pack of fifty. Now I don't know if you talked to any other cast members about coming to the show, but this is a great place to unwind and just if you have any secrets about the show or anything that you want to <laughs> you say. You know, I, I did talk to the cast about the show around like. 5 a.m. in the morning the other night, Foxy Perfect. was telling me, I was like, oh, I'm going to go on, come on, I'm so excited. And he was like, oh. And Foxy's exact words were, were he's the, the perfect one to pop your talk show cherry. So I was like, oh, okay. Great. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm <laughs> glad I'm here tonight. No, he said, he said you're the best. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Yeah, he was, he was uh, very, very effusively. Well, please give him a big kiss you. on the mouth for me as well. He's a very, uh, it really is, it's a great, <laughs> it is a great group you have there. A group that's frequently naked, I understand. And I, you know, Matthew alluded to this when he was on the show last night. Is he the most frequently naked member of the cast for no reason? You know, he's getting some competition for it lately. Oh, who is but, competing with him? Uh, Naveen. Naveen was, Andrews? Yeah. Yeah, he's not usually a, a kind of avid skinny dipper, but, um, you know, Foxy's, it, it's very, like, good, clean fun with him. There's no real kind of alternative motive or anything like that. It's just kind of like, you know, he gets off work, he has, like, a beer, and, <laughs> and like, the kids go to bed, and, you know, it's better to be naked in his mind. Like, yeah. it's Hawaii, it's hot. You know, you come over, and you're like, oh, hey, Foxy. <laughs> well, wow. <laughs> Is that right? Wow. Yeah, I really, I've been begging J.J. Abrams to put me on the show. Maybe I swim in somehow. Maybe we get some product placement in there. You know, I drive yeah. up in a Pontiac and they give it away. You just come in like a loincloth. You're like, I've been here for 16 years. I just want to be naked with the rest of the group. That's all. Well, I hear you come out to set a lot. I'm oddly enough, I've been there in one like time. Canada or something. I was only but... been there one time. Oh, you were in Canada? Were you shooting your movie? Yeah, when when you were there, I was I was very. I did miss you when you were there. Thank you for the sushi you sent to the set. You're welcome. We, well, good. when you guys won the <laughs> Emmy, uh, and actually we should have sent you something for the black actor thing too, Anthony. I'm sorry we didn't. Y'all y'all sent me a, a case of Kool Aid. <laughs> 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 yeah, sushi, Kool-Aid, you know, it's all right. You were going back and forth between Hawaii and Vancouver to shoot the movie The Fog. Yeah, yeah, I was. Is um, that good? Going back and forth? Yeah, I mean, like, that far. It's, it's yeah. a lot of sleeping on planes and a lot of customs, which um, <laughs> I wasn't very popular in customs. Why do you say that? I was actually in line with a member of the crew who I was really good friends with, and we hadn't had a day off in like a month. We've been shooting nights. We were just so sleep deprived and just slap happy at this point. I mean, just completely gone. Were you naked or did you have clothes on? <laughs> no, I had clothes on, but oh. I think that was part of the problem. Because right. It was, so I had my guitar pick earrings on and this kind of like faux fur kind of coat thing, and I think it looked kind of like druggy from a Canadian standpoint. Oh, right, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like coming through those eyes, and it was this guy that's like, I was like, you're, you're not even a year older than me. This guy was just freaking out, and he, he just, we started giggling in line, my, my friend and I from the crew. And we just, you know, we were a little slap happy, and he just flipped out. Really? He was like, do you guys realize where you are? This is serious. This is Canadian customs. Where are you? Canadian Customs, that's right. <laughs> and he was just like, I've got my eye on you. He actually did this. He did? Yeah, like the whole thing from like, meet the Fokker, circle of trust, I've got my really? eye on you. Really? He did that. I was just like, ugh. Wow. And then I, I couldn't find my, my little kind of declaration slip about, you know, if I had any like fruit or... or did gum. you have any fruit? No. Oh. I didn't, but they were convinced that we were on drugs because we were giggling. Uh-huh. She was like, ma'am, are you high? <laughs> I was like, I'm not a ma'am, you're like 19. I've never seen an yeah. angry Canadian and before. And then he, he got really mad, and because we were sort of still giggling, because we were like, what is with this guy, right? And, um, and he wrote this number on our, our little custom slips, which was different from everybody else's number. So we were like, oh my god. I've Body had that cavity, number sir. What was the number? Yeah. Was it 428, I... <laughs> um, all the lost numbers? I think there numbers? was a 7 in it, uh -huh. which is supposed to be lucky, but trust me, it's not. Yeah, um, well, yeah, wow, they, how about that? They searched that? everything, they were like, what kind of substances are you abusing? This isn't funny. This is not funny. It was like a school teacher. So you are no friend to Canada now? Mm. Evidently not. And <laughs> so to give <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, he doesn't have the tie and the suit. No, no, yes, but he's got everything else. Um, <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> he's got all the important stuff. But um, you, this is a remake of that movie. It was in the 70s, right, the movie The Fog? Had you ever uh, seen the original movie? 
Yeah, yeah, I did see the original ones. It's John Carpenter, so it's a classic. And it's uh, about pollution that turns bad, right? <laughs> yes, it, it really strikes home <laughs> for us. No, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's set on this, on this little island community. Oh, that's, and, uh, that's good for you. Yeah. <laughs>